Welcome back guys to the most amazing top 10. My name's Danny Burke. Balloons are great, aren't they? You have them at birthdays, you have them at parades, and you can also do tricks with them. Oh yes. Now I'm no magician, but I have been scouring the internet trying to find cool little tricks to do with balloons that you guys can do at home. And I finally found it thanks to the power of the internet. So here for you are the top 10 unbelievable balloon tricks. Okay, starting off at number 10, we have the phone in the balloon. Look at my phone in the balloon. I can even uh, rip it out. There we go. It was inside the balloon. How did I do that? So first you take a balloon and you inflate it. And there you go. From one angle, it will look like the phone is inside the balloon. Obviously don't show them the other side, but yeah. That's the angle you want. Okay, coming in at number nine now, we have the spinning coin. So first you take the coin and you squeeze it through the neck of the balloon, like that. All right, and then you blow it up and then you give it a little bit of a spin. I'm actually gonna tie the balloon for this. And then you spin it and it should spin round really, really fast and then eventually you won't even need to do anything. It makes a pretty cool noise too. Okay, coming in at number eight, we have the balloon that does not pop. Obviously, if you take a sharp stick like this and put it into a balloon, I don't know, here, it pops. But there is one point on a balloon, and if you pierce it in just the right way, it should not pop. And it's right here at the end. So if I give it a little push, If you're lucky, you can even push it out the other end. It should stay intact. All right, coming in at number seven, we have the citrus air freshener. So remember in the last one, we talked about the weak part of a balloon just here. Well, that works for this one too, because if you tie it up and then you put some of this citrus air freshener onto that weak part, it should pop. Okay, so it turns out my citrus air freshener might not contain actual citrus, but uh, here's a clip of what it should look like. Next up at number six, we have the unstoppable pins. So if I put this balloon onto this pin, what do you think will happen? Obviously. But what about if we use more pins? Let's try it now. Wow. The reason for this is that the weight that would normally be going down on just one point of the balloon is spread out across the many different pins and none of that pressure is enough to pop it. Science. All right, coming in at number five, we have the force. The force is with you. Okay, coming in at number four now, I'm gonna show you how static electricity can bend water. First, I'm gonna blow up your balloon. You want to rub it on your hair to get some static. Okay, next up at number three, we have the floating confetti. Now we all know that when you rub a balloon on your head and generate some static electricity, it will make your hair go all funny. But did you know that it can work on confetti and paper too? It's the exact same scientific principles. Here we go. Whoa. All right, next up at number two. If you fill a balloon up with mostly air, but a little bit of water, it should make it fireproof. I'm going to use a lighter for this, but you could or should use a candle. Let's see if this works. Like that. Now, here's what it's like with just air. All right. 
Right, coming in at number one, we finally made it. We have the Marshmallow Balloon Cannon. That's the name I'm giving it. So for this, you're gonna need some scissors, a balloon, and some small marshmallows, about that big. And finally, you want a toilet paper roll, just like this. So firstly, take the balloon and cut the top of it off. Okay, so then you take the balloon and you put it over the top of the toilet paper roll. So it's like that. Then you just take a marshmallow, you pop it in the bottom, and... Okay, I'll put it really high. Oh! Okay. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed some of them. I know some of them were a little less crazy than others. Um, this video took me uh, a lot longer to make than the normal ones, I'll tell you that. But those were the top 10 unbelievable balloon tricks. I can't believe we've reached the end, but we have. My name's Danny Burke. You've been watching Most Amazing Top 10. If you want to watch other perhaps non-balloon related videos, we have some floating right over there so you can keep watching right now. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.